up, YouTube? Let's watch this. Shannon. This is when you have you get woman a platform. They say stupid shit. They wanna they wanna they want they wanna make up for for they wanna it two things can be true. It's competition. It's not competition. I want Monica to go first, but I definitely wanna respond to a lot of what she Like listen. We had a whole lot of time to discuss this yesterday. They had forty minutes on this conversation yesterday. Why? Not not because of Angela Reese, not because of anybody else from the uh Taraji who've been there forever. Because of Caitlin Clark is the, the cash count. Listen, they keep, keep saying it, you can comp you can compete. It, it keep me up competition with a dirty play. Everybody loves competition. That's the reason why I watch sports because of competition. If 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 that girl would a would a would a not Caitlin Clark on her ass for going up for a layup, that's in competition. That girl standing there flat footed, getting the ball, and the ball, you come and knock her the fuck down, call her a little bitch. That's that's dirty. You can get that's dirty as you can get. It is no excuse for it. We ain't got to say where it's competition. This, this this situation is, is is bringing up that it's not competition. No, they've been a lot of chatter. They still chatting about the girl. The girl, girl on Twitter, Instagram said, "What does she bring to the game?" That's nothing but three. They hating. It's it's hate. It is okay that you're a hater. Kendrick says it's okay that he the biggest hater. All right. Anything we learn from that Drake and Kendrick? Be, I'm the biggest hater. I hate the way you talk. I hate the way you just. I hate the way. They, I hate the way that she shoot. I hate the way that she look. I hate the way that she dress. It's okay. Just admit that you a hater. Well, I just woke up, man. I just woke up. Well, Listen, let me, let me I ain't. Stop by we gotta get this. With what Shanae said, because I'm, I'm uh, totally with Shannon Sharp and 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 and, 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 Skip, and sure. Stephen A. Smith. First of all, Shanae, when you came to ESPN, could you refresh our memory about what you were hired to do? What you were hired to cover? When I first came in, I was a women's basketball analyst, um, and one of the first shows that I filled them in on was this show for Mm-hmm. Okay, and you are now a star on what show? NBA Today. NBA that would be Canada. NBA Today. There we go. Uh, Monica McNutt, you were hired here at ESPN, and. Uh, I assume that you were hired for similar fashion to Shanae, but what, 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 you, you, you're everywhere now. You, you're very oh. ubiquitous. I mean, get up first take. You're all over. But is that correct, Monica? Is that correct, ACC Monica? ACC Network. Shout out to ACC Network. <laughs> Women's College oh, Basketball. Let's oh, get it. Oh, that too. I didn't even, girl, 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 I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that. Okay, that, there we go. That's, a, that's an additional job on top of the other jobs that you already had. Here's my point in bringing that up, Shay Shay, Molly. Uh, Shanae, like, M&M, we gotta say Tanae. The very things. Right. It's, it's Tanae, Shanae, Shanae, Shanae. Shanae. Uh, my bad, my bad, okay. my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just said my bad. Tanae, 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 what is said about the WNBA? Have you not been saying that about the w, uh, about the NBA for years? Particular stories, how things are projected, how we got to make sure that things can't be overblown, how two things can be true. Uh, regard, I'm not getting specific. I'm just talking in generalities. You have been consistent about that regardless of what sport or what topic we've discussed. What we're talking about right now is applicable to anything, to anybody. It's not isolated for just the WNBA. We've looked at a bevy of stories involving the NFL, the National Basketball Association. The list goes on and on, Shannon, Monica, where we've talked about things and we've said two things could be true. We've said, you know something? We got to make sure that we're not castigating everybody. This particular incident doesn't necessarily reflect on... By the line, is, these women got to be in these locker rooms. They got to be in these locker rooms with these other them, these WNA stars, they friends. This what happens when you get friends on TV to talk about topics. They don't... They don't keep it 100 and keep it real. That's why the media, the NBA, Stack Five, Matt Vaughn, love those guys. Uh, the, doing the Paul George's of the world. Everybody do their podcasts. They don't get it. They can't come on TV and say, man, that nigga was trash. Like, we can't. 
the Gibbet Arenas. What's up? The money. They can't come out and say that. They came out. Yeah, want, so that's why the media has been been turned bad. You got too many former players and people with personality that got relationship with other people, and they want to they want to be friends, buddy, but they don't give you the real. That's why. We, that's why you gotta love a real journalist. A journalist's job is to be skeptical to get the truth out. To, to be skeptical to be the real. Do everything. These people right here want to just take up for their friend. Former NBA player, former player, went to college in Connecticut. All women want to protect women. And you notice these three women of color. Nothing wrong with it. But if that was a black girl and black girl, they would have been saying that was a dirty shot in their hate. Just because Caitlyn White and she's cold, they would say, nah, they got to take a whole different approach. Well, you can compete. You can compete. It's a heat of the moment. It happened in sports. We know cheap shit happened in sports. We see white NFL all day long. We know. We know. We know white NFL and Bay all day long. We see cheap shit happen all the time. We see Draymond Green go choking that guy. We see we see Draymond Green kicking niggas in the balls. We see all kind of dirty shit. In the NFL, we see niggas get blindsided. That's what that, that call that call did it to uh, Caitlyn Clark. But now with equipment on. Now, I've been on the football field because I played football. Believe it or not, I played it. I got the trophy to prove it. Let's go to it. We, we don't, see, we don't play games over here. I got the trophies to prove it, bam. Read, read. I can read academics. I can read. Smart nigga. Right? I played football. Bam. I, right? We played. So, I was on the field one time on kickoff return. I, I, you know, I'm not paying attention. Somebody came and knocked the shit out of me. I look at the rook. Rupert say, man, you got to pay attention. So I know how it goes. It was a cheap shot, but Rupert say, you got to pay attention when we out here. Basketball with no equipment on, you come and knock the girl the hell out and call it a little bitch. That's hating, bro. All right? So I want y'all to like the video, comment the video, subscribe the video. I hope y'all understand and don't take the take of these women. Peace.